What's up everybody, it's Raf here. I'm excited to uh, bring this tutorial series to you guys uh, about all of the new mechanics and equipment in the rescue update. So here we have a man under the uh, a bus here in Times Square. So you can access the airbag case or the cribbing bag through the radio menu as you can see here. And you can press X to drop it. Once it's dropped you're able to spawn different kinds of airbags, different sizes and if you click on them it'll bring up that little uh, movement UI <clears throat> so you can use the arrows or the little cubes in between to move them if you press E it will bring up the option to rotate the cribbing as you can see here and allow you to rotate it on the three axis W will bring it back to the move option once you have the airbag in place and you're next to it you can use this UI on the left hand side and hold the green button to inflate it. <coughs> you can use a combination of airbags and cribbing to stabilize the bus while lifting it. This is the same for the trains which I'll show as well. So here we're lifting the uh, this tire to try to gain access to the patient and free him to be able to drag him out. So here you'll see I'm able to also scale if I press R it'll bring up the scale option so we can scale the the cribbing um, and kind of change how how big it is, how tall, how wide or whatever you want to do with it really. Now we've got a different sized airbag. We're gonna go ahead and place this on top of the cribbing and uh, allow that to help us get a little bit more of an angle to pull the patient out from underneath. So it may take a little bit to get used to moving these airbags and cribbing around, but um, once you do it's a very useful uh, mechanic. So here we're getting a little bit more of a height so we can gain access to the patient. So a uh, new feature I added is if you hold C it will freeze the camera allowing you to move the mouse around and grab and drag the uh, the patient or debris or whatever it is you want to move around without the camera moving while you move it and once you let go of C it will unfreeze the camera so this is helpful when you're using um, these new drag mechanics when you're dragging out a patient or moving debris pieces and whatnot so here you can see we've got the patient pretty much pulled out at this point and there we go uh, if you press H next to the patient, it will bring up the new EMS UI. So this patient doesn't look like he has any significant injuries. When we press his body parts, it will bring up uh, an overview of what we see, his vitals, and you're able to access those treatments. So most trucks now have uh, backboards or Stokes baskets. And with that, we're going to go ahead and drop it with X once we have it in our hand and we can place them on the backboard with the apply backboard option under treatments once a patient is on a backboard or a stokes basket you're able to grab them like you would uh, a piece of debris and you can move them around or in multiplayer you can pass them to other uh, members to remove from a collapse zone or whatever it may be so here we're in the train uh, this is a man under the train call this is the bottle jack which can be found in the cribbing bag. Um, it's basically a jack that can be used to lift uh, a train slightly or a bus. Once you have it in place you can use Q to raise it or E to retract it. Um, in this case I decided an airbag was the better option because the car was derailed. So I moved this airbag along the rail. and using the C button to hold my camera in position I was able to accurately place the airbag where I wanted it without the camera moving at the same time so like we showed before you'll inflate the airbag using the UI and the train is slowly lifting here now I th we do need more space to uh... so 
I wanted to stabilize the train by having the jack support it up and go ahead and use another airbag to raise around the middle where the patient is. So now we've got this airbag, we're going to try to find the best place to place it. So I found this area between two of the the wheels which I felt was a good spot to try to raise up right where the patient was. So this is opening a little bit more of a gap. With these men under the train calls it's very difficult to fit the patient between the rail and the train so the best way is just to make enough space to be able to grab him like so and pull him to the front or the back of the train whichever is closest so in this case that's what I did so it takes a matter of uh, just grabbing him getting a hold of him and pulling him out towards the front with that space that we make with the airbags and the strut we're able to have enough room to drag him out freely without him getting caught on the train and once we have him out we can go ahead and put him on the stokes basket so that's the basics of handling a man under the bus or train call the more you know check out the rest of the series um, there's plenty of things to know how to do in this rescue update so inform yourself so you can get the best experience out of this update